Today we're going to be taking a look at some aluminum rims and rubber tires from MX fans that I picked up off of Amazon and that's coming up next here on Jesse B Motors. I bought these MX fans rims and tires to put on my Red Cat Racing Lightning EPX here. Now this came with drift tires and what I want to do is, is I also want to test the speed of it and just drive it like a regular car too so i wanted a spare set of tires so i hopped on amazon and i saw these these were under 20 bucks at the time of purchase and i figured for aluminum rims and rubber tires that was a pretty good price so let's go ahead and get these opened up and take a look at them i already got the package open so we're going to go ahead and take these out here and we're going to take a look at them what i want to do is i kind of want to look at the craftsmanship of them and take them apart and we're going to look at the foams inside because these do come with foams. So far looking at the wheels. This one. It's a little bit rough. I'm sure you could probably see some of the roughness like right in there. Let's grab another one here. This one. If you look right here. You can see there's a little nick in the lip right there. Otherwise it don't look too bad. Now remember, these are under $20, so you can't expect perfection. No, this one looks like it's got some rough spots in it too. Go ahead and take a look at this last one here. You can see right up here again, we got some more rough spots right up there. I'd say all in all for under 20 bucks, not too bad. Of course, you would always want better. Let's go ahead and take these wheels off and take a look at the foams. Now when you get these, they are not glued, so you're going to have to glue these yourself. Which is kind of perfect though, because now we can go ahead, pop these off here. And we're going to take a look at the foams, and see how the foams are. Go ahead and pull those out of here. And actually, those look a little rough. I would expect a little bit better, even though they're under $20. Let's go ahead and take them all apart and take a look at them see if they're all the same way because that will give us an idea if it's just one or if it's more and if you look at that one yeah, that's kind of looking a little rough too go ahead and take this one apart here I wish the foams were a little bit better but like I said these are sort of under 20 bucks looks like we're going to end up with all the foams like that get the last one apart here and yep same thing looks like they're all pretty rough so on the foams if you're going to be real picky i'd pick up another set of foams throw them on there i'm going to leave these ones in there and i'm just going to go ahead and glue them so let's go ahead and take a look at the tires now taking a look at the tires I don't see like no chunks missing out of them. The sidewalls all look good. At least this tire, I see nothing wrong with it. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one here. Sidewalls and everything look good. A little bit of flash right there, but that's to be expected with the rubber getting cut out of the mode. And the tread don't look too bad on this one. Looks like the tires are going to end up being pretty good, and that's going to be a good thing. I'm hoping after we drive it for a while at speeds so those foams will maybe puff out a little bit more and go back to their natural shape but looking at that tire I really don't see nothing wrong with it and I don't really see nothing wrong that was just a little bit of foam on the tire there I don't see nothing really wrong with the tires at all the tires look like they're pretty decent just got a little bit of foam came off on my thumb so I'm not too impressed with the foams on them. So this is what they look like on the car. I think they look pretty good. So let's go ahead and take this outside and let's run them. And let's get my thoughts on them. Now we're out in the parking lot to run the NMX fan tires. What I got in here, I got a um, Ovonic 2S 500 mol 50C battery. This one was from Crazy Cheap Lipo Battery Week that I've ran. And I'm still testing it out, running it in different vehicles. So I thought it'd be perfect for this. So let's go ahead and see how these tires run. Now so far I've only driven this with the drift tires, so I'm just going to launch it forward and see how it did. Because with the drift tires of course it's fun and just went sideways. I want to see if this thing launches. Let's go. 
Oh wow, that thing zipped right off. It's kind of crazy. This thing is fast. This thing's got a 27 turn motor in it. And this thing is ripping. Wow, I cannot believe how fast this car actually is. This is awesome. out the brakes. Brakes work awesome. It really slows them down. Tires are working good for braking. That's good. I'm gonna try to rip some donuts here. Let's get closer to the camera. See what it does. Eh, still rip some donuts. Uh, you do gotta remember I'm running on uh, sealed asphalt here. But these tires are gripping real good. I hate to say this, but this might be my fastest RC. And my Stampede's got brush systems in it. We'll have to come back out here another day and put the GPS on it. This thing's got some crazy grip with these tires, I'm liking it. Brakes work awesome. That's really why I wanted this car, is for a dual purpose car. I know a lot of people, and I've had comments. That's not a real drift car, it's all wheel drive. I know that, and there's a reason why I wanted to do that. I wanted an all around car that I could do stuff like this with too, with rubber tires. And I tell you what, for the price of this Red Cat Racing Lightning EPX Drift, it is awesome for being an all around car. It throws dirt tires on it, drift, get some cheap rubber tires like this off of Amazon, let her rip. This is awesome. Well, that was a lot of fun and these tires worked out great. These are gonna be basically the rubber set of tires for me to run this like a touring car instead of a drift car. And I kind of like how flexible this car is with that option to swap the tires out, to drift it, and then swap it out and run it like a touring car. I really enjoy that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave a link down below to Amazon for you guys to go ahead and check these out. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. I did start a Facebook group, and it's called RC Life, just like my website that I'm going to be starting up here. Go ahead and check that out. We're doing a lot of fun things on there. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all on the next one.